What's up everyone, this is JR Tech. Have you ever wondered if you could have Windows on your Mac or just curious on how to install it? Well follow this step by step guide and I'm going to teach you guys how to install Windows on your Mac computer. So let's get started. <music> This tutorial is going to work for all Mac computers, so whether you have an iMac, MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, it doesn't matter, and it doesn't matter what kind of operating system you have. So whether it's Mountain Lion, Yosemite, or El Captain, you're all ready to go. So let's get started with this tutorial. The first step is to download the file, and I'm going to leave a link for this in the description box. But you want to click Windows 10, then confirm. Then from there, just select your language. After that, you want to select what kind of download you want. For Max, most of the time you're going to be using the 64-bit download. After it's done downloading, you want to take the file from your downloads and move it onto the desktop. Up next, you're going to want to plug in your thumb drive, and you want to make sure it's no less than 5 gigabytes. Up next, you want to open up Boot Camp in your search, and this is already pre-installed on your Mac computer, so you don't have to worry about installing it. Just click Continue. Then from here, automatically it's going to be selected as your file, but if you're going to use Windows more, I would recommend that you give Windows more memory, but I'm not going to use it that much, so I'm just going to put it at the minimum. And then all I do is click install. After you click install, it's going to start downloading, and this is going to take a little bit of time, anywhere from about 10 to 20 minutes, so be prepared for that. After it's done downloading, you're going to be greeted right here by a serial number, and I don't have one because I'm just going through the trial period, so I'm just going to click skip, click on home edition, and then click next. And now I just agree to the terms. From there, you're going to click on custom install, and then up next you want to locate your thumb drive and you want to know how many gigabytes it is so it's easier to locate. Mine's a 30 gigabyte so I want to click on that. Now you can't click next if you can go ahead but most of the time you're going to have to click format in order to go on to the next step. After that step you're all completely done and you now just have to wait for it to completely install onto your Mac computer. Once you're done downloading that it's going to open up into your Windows automatically and then from there you're just going to go through the start screens as if you're opening up a brand new Windows computer for the first time so you're going to put in that username the passcode for the Wi-Fi and all that goodness. There you go. That's how you install Windows on your Mac computer. If you guys have any questions or you got lost in the process, please drop a comment down below. If you're wondering how you get back to the Mac side, all you do is turn off your machine, and then turn it back on and hold down options right away from turning it on. It's that simple. I'll see you guys in the next one, and this is JR Tech signing off. Peace.